We sing to top songs in the car, listen to them at work, and dance to them at parties. But behind every top song, there's a story and meaning maybe we didn't hear initially. Sometimes it's masked by the sound of the song. For instance, an upbeat tune may have a darker meaning hidden in the lyrics. Of course, other times, the stories behind these songs are funny and insightful, making things much clearer. Be ready, because many of these true stories behind the songs might radically change how you listen to them. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 insane stories behind top songs. Twenty-five, Kendrick Lamar, Swimming Pools When released in 2012, Swimming Pools by Kendrick Lamar became an instant party anthem. But, ironically, the song's lyrics are about how alcohol and peer pressure ruined Lamar's life. 24. Aerosmith, Dude Looks Like a Lady When Aerosmith hung out with the guys from Motley Crue, they rolled their eyes at how every sentence they said started with dude. Even more, at one point they saw what looked like a girl with bleach blonde hair, but when that person turned around, it was Vince Neil. This turned into the riff, Dude Looks Like a Lady. 23. Journey, Don't Stop Believin'. This classic and overplayed rock ballad from 1981 has a little bit of a factual error in it. South Detroit doesn't exist. When written, Steve Perry tried North Detroit, East Detroit, and West Detroit, but for him, South Detroit sounded the best. So, he went with it. 22. Gwen Stefani, Hollaback Girl This pop song and instant dance track sensation was written as a direct response to Courtney Love dissing Stefani, calling her a cheerleader. I'd say Stefani wins for best comeback. 21. Van Halen, Jump This upbeat and peppy song is pretty dark when you know what inspired the lyrics. David Lee Roth came up with the line, Go ahead and jump, after seeing a news broadcast of a guy standing on top of Arco Tower threatening to commit suicide. 20. Pink Floyd, Comfortably Numb The common belief is that this song is about drugs, but Roger Waters, the writer, insists it isn't. It's actually about what it felt like when he was sick as a kid, disconnected from reality and sometimes entering delirium. 19. Woody Guthrie, This Land is Your Land Though sometimes considered a second American national anthem, this song originally was a protest song Guthrie recorded in 1944 in response to how much God Bless America was played during the Great Depression. The controversial lyrics, however, were either never recorded or later removed due to fear of McCarthyism. 18. Third Eye Blind, Semi-Charmed Life With catchy riffs and plenty of do-do-do's, this poppy song is actually about falling apart and someone dealing with drug addiction. 17. Noel Regney and Gloria Shane Baker, Do You Hear What I Hear? Many believe this Christmas classic was written a long time ago. It was actually written by Noel Regney and Gloria Shane Baker in 1962 during the Cold War and Cuban Missile Crisis. They were in the recording studio listening to the radio and were afraid they were about to be obliterated by nuclear missiles. So they wrote it about the nativity story during the Cold War. 16. Fastball. The Way. This chart-topping 1998 single was interpreted about eternal youth and a road trip that never ends. However, in a dark twist, it was actually inspired by a news story of an elderly couple that left for a festival in Texas and disappeared. 15. Bob Marley, I Shot the Sheriff Some might think this song would be pretty straightforward. However, Marley's girlfriend claims it's actually about birth control. She said Marley thought birth control was a sin, and the doctor prescribing them was the sheriff. 14. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run This upbeat song was briefly considered by the New Jersey State Legislature to be their state song, but it was shot down in the Senate. It's kind of easy to see why. Despite its peppy sound, the lyrics are much harsher. Baby, this town rips the bones from your back. It's a death trap. It's a suicide rap. 13. 
Carly Simon, You're So Vain. While it was unknown who Carly Simon spoke about when she wrote and sang You're So Vain, she eventually admitted it was about Warren Beatty. 12. Chicago, 25 or 6 to 4. Many believe this song is about drugs and being on LSD, but that interpretation is wrong. According to Robert Lamb, the song was written when they were recording songs late at night and is about time. 11. Deep Purple, Smoke on the Water This song, with the universally noticeable opening guitar riff, was written after someone launched a rocket inside a casino during Frank Zappa's concert. A fire broke out instantly, destroying the casino complex. The title, Smoke on the Water, came about when Roger Glover saw the smoke roll over Lake Geneva as the fire raged inside the casino. 10. BTO. Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. This song was written by Randy Bachman, and during one of the recording sessions, he recorded a joke track stammering all the words, like, B -b Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. He did it purposefully because his brother Gary Bachman had a horrible stammer at the time. He teased his brother that they were going to put it on the album, though he had no intention of doing so. But then their producer Charlie Falk intervened, saying it's their only potential hit song. 9. Beastie Boys – Fight for Your Right to Party Everyone thinks this song is about partying. In reality, the Beastie Boys were parodying all the songs at the time singing about partying. Adam Yauch was making fun of them, but admitted irony is often missed by people. He goes on to say, The only thing that upsets me is that we might have reinforced certain values of some people in our audience when our own values were actually totally different. 8. Sixpence None the Richer – There She Goes this popular song was actually covered by Sixpence None the Richer and was originally written and sung by The Laws. While it appears to be about a girl always getting away, in reality, it's about the fleeting feeling after someone takes heroin and the addiction that follows. 7. Paul McCartney, Hey Jude This famous and beloved ballad was written during a tumultuous time for McCartney, when the Beatles weren't getting along and he and his girlfriend were splitting up. However, he wrote it as a way to comfort and cheer up John Lennon's five-year-old son, Jules, as his parents were getting divorced. Originally, the title was Hey Jules, but he changed it later. Awkwardly, John Lennon thought the song was about him as a blessing for his relationship with Yoko Ono. 6. The Drifters – Save the Last Dance for Me The writer of this popular ballad was Doc Pomus. He wrote it after watching his bride dance with everyone else at their wedding. Doc Pomus was unable to dance because he had polio. 5. John Mellencamp, Pink Houses Many people think this song is about the American dream. In reality, Mellencamp says it's about how the American dream has led to poverty and wasn't working anymore. 4. Hanson, Mbop this catchy one-hit wonder was all the rage in 1996, and most considered it a mindless ballad. However, Hansen stated originally it had a somber tone to meet its intended meaning, but was changed to a pop song later. It's actually about the futility of life and how the things you think are important are going to be gone. 3. Lady Gaga, Poker Face This hit song isn't about poker or being coy. It was inspired by Lady Gaga keeping her bisexuality hidden from her heterosexual male lover. 2. Three Dog Night 1. After trying to call someone and getting a busy signal, Harry Nilsson wrote this song. The opening riff imitates the boop, boop, boop sound you hear during a busy signal. 1. Michael Jackson, Billie Jean while driving his Rolls Royce down the highway, Jackson wrote this song. He became so enamored by his songwriting and the song that he didn't notice his car had caught on fire. A motorcyclist warned him about it and saved his life in the process. So, are there any insane stories about your favorite song? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at List25. Enjoying our lists? 
be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.